one of the key words would be supplantation. If there would be supplantation from one project to the other project, and clearly this is not the case at all. I have linked from the vantage point, if you look at Kingsley, which is an economic development opportunity for York County and for South Carolina, um, the way that development is unfolded, if you compare that down to the next development, uh, unfolding where one is new and one already had transportation infrastructure in it, it just could not handle the capacity. I think part of the, the issue and the frustration, um, clearly, is the fact that you've got a SIB application that the SIB un under two different reformations, if you will, one was 2016, that was Act 275, one was 2017, that was Act 40, that put the components back in not only from funding, and I go back a little bit, so that's Act 98 of 2013, it set aside $50 million a year to go into uh, the SIL versus the, the penny in the, in the gas tax. Not of the new gas tax dollars that we created, but the original $16.75 dollars that were there, and then you, you add the truck fees and all the, the components of dollars that make up what the infrastructure bank had. Three lawsuits filed uh, during this time. Uh, one has, has been dismissed. Uh, two, we have won as, as the SIP in the state of South Carolina. They are under appeal. I know the latest on, on those, but, but bonding folks now say we're comfortable enough that the, 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 the appeal will go in our favor that we're ready to go. The SIP has some $728 million currently in capacity. Uh, I think. Dave, what are we looking at in North County? About 100 and 125, $125 million dollar ask. So mm -hmm. you start looking at asking the bank for a loan for a vehicle, but they've got enough to loan you the money. So I, I feel very comfortable if we start looking at, at what the SIB is has on its plate beginning in January of 2020, the ability for that to start rolling. And then the next question would be, is it shovel ready? And I'm told it is. So my thought is that really from a funding standpoint, the, the Fort Mill needs and the Rock Hill need at exit 82 uh, would, would be first off based on that model, but not the other. I think part of the, the issue is the others get the attention right now, that Panther site versus the Fort Mill site. I think that, that makes a difference. Um, clearly, though, the, the word supplantation, which is what I would use, is, is in no way. Thank you.